I want to talk to you guys in this video. It's been so long. If it was possible. <laughs> it's hard. It's probably the hardest things I've ever done. Recently, I've been following the controversy surrounding beauty influencers like Gabriel Zamora, Laura Lee, Nikita Dragon, and Manny MUA. If you don't know anything about what happened, basically, Gabriel Zamora, a YouTuber with 431,000 subscribers, took shots at Jeffree Star, who recently had a series with Shane Dawson, out of jealousy, calling Jeffree a racist for comments he made 10 years ago. I win by having diamond you brands, like and you win by being a poor Mexican. Shut up, you fucking Ooh. bitch! You stupid ape, I'm gonna spray you. With Gabriel calling out Jeffrey for making racist comments, fans were quick to call Gabriel out for his hypocrisy, pulling up old tweets of his in which he used racially insensitive language. And of course, by association, the rest of Gabriel's gang was soon to be called out on their past racist behavior as well. In my video today, I solely wanted to talk about Laura Lee, another YouTuber with 4 million subscribers who made an apology video for her offensive tweets. I'll be taking a look at her body language in this video and telling you guys if I believe her apology to be genuine or not, and I'll save the end of my video for my own thoughts and opinions on this subject to be shared. Definitely make sure to check out all of my disclaimers about body language in the description box below, but for now, Let's get into the reading. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to you guys. I'm so sorry for disappointing you. It hurts me so bad. Disappoint you all who have supported me for so many years. I know that I'm better than that person. I, six years ago, decided to retweet things that were so vile and hurtful. And ignorant. A lot of people have speculated whether or not Laura's crying is real or fake. Even the drama queen herself, Trisha Paytas, called Laura out for fake crying. I want to say immediately that I can tell that those tears are real, but hear me out. Laura doesn't show any signs of accessing emotion while she's crying, although she does show major signs of stress. So those tears that you see aren't regular, remorseful, sad tears, they're stress tears. That's also why you won't see many tears throughout this video, because tears like that only form at peak moments of stress. Laura starts off the video strong in her posture. She's not submitting to the camera like an emotional weak person would do if they were in this situation, but that isn't to say that she isn't an emotionally weak person, it's just to say that she isn't in the right headspace to truly feel emotional about this. The stress lines on her forehead and by her eyebrows are faint, but they're there. She stares at the camera in a very similar fashion to Logan Paul when he gave his apology. Her hands are a little bit shaky, but I can't definitively tell the reasoning behind that. And you'll notice that her lips tend to purse before she cries, almost like she's about to smile. That is also a huge indicator of stress. Dress. She also touches her face, hair, and neck quite often. With Laura being a part of the beauty community, there's no doubt in my mind that she's an extremely vain person, so the touching acts as a calming practice as well as a way to hide her face. And I have no excuses here today. I'm not here to give you an excuse. I have no excuses. I'm only here to say that I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hope one day that you guys can save me for the woman that I am. <laughs> so we have a slower negative hand movement for a second there, isolated shoulder movement upwards, and then a negative head nod. So her body definitely isn't in sync here. There's a lot of hesitation there. She stutters for a second. This is basically her body's way of showing how much of a mess her head is right now. And honestly, I don't know if she believes what she's saying. That you, I can prove to you guys that I'm not that girl. I love you guys so much. And whenever I see I disappointed you, it just 
breaks my heart into a million pieces. I'm so sorry for anyone that's been hurt through this. Anyone. Laura goes into emotion at three certain points during this clip. The first is when she says, I can prove to you guys that I'm not that girl. The second is when she says, I love you guys so much. And the third is after she says she's sorry for anyone who's been hurt by her actions. And keep in mind that her scanning the emotional side of her brain during this video is very rare. So make of this what you will. I feel so just disappointed. I don't even like to look at myself because like I can't even believe that I would retweet ugly things and be you know things that would hurt people like I can't believe I didn't see the pain behind that kind of tweet and that kind of behavior I did and I'm so sorry there's no excuse there's nothing I can say that's in it I'm just sorry. I did that six years ago. <laughs> I wish it was a better six years ago, but I can't pray for the past. I can only pray for the future. I really hope you guys don't get angry at me when I say this, but she's in portrayal mode big time. And when someone is being this dramatic, it's really hard to get a read on what's real and what is for the camera. What she just said and the way she just said it is so iffy on the truth scale that I can't tell you if she's lying or not. Part of me wants to believe her and part of me doesn't. I also want to say in this video that please, please just, if you hate me, please just hate me. People have called my mother and threatened to kill her. They've gotten her phone number. They have attacked a child. A 14, my 14-year-old niece attacked her. And I asked you guys, please just let this be me. Let this be about me. It's not about my family. It's about me. It's not about anyone else. This is my sorry. I personally think it's really odd that she brought this up and Trisha truly did say it best. First of all, if they really did reach out to this girl's family, like, you be calling the police. The police will tell you don't talk about it. When you get a break-in, and I'm not talking about the Ace family, but like, I've had break-ins at my old house. Like, I moved from my old house because I had a lot of 911 calls and they tell you don't talk about it. Don't mention it. Call the police. Report it. You know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 Marking more people to do what you don't want them to do. She's visualizing in her head these threats made against her family, so there's not really a doubt in my mind that this has happened. But once again, there's not a shred of emotion while she's saying any of this, which leads me to believe that she's over-exaggerating the story. There's another part of this story that, like, I don't know if you all know, but me and Gabriel and Nikita and Manny took a picture with our middle fingers up, and we were trying to mimic Kylie Jenner's birthday picture, and the picture was taken out of context and it ended up causing pain, you know, for other people. And I just want to say I'm sorry to Jeffrey for the pain we may have caused you in this. I didn't know that that picture was going to be taken out of context and that anything was going to be said to you. But at the end of the day, it was done. So I need to owe you an apology for this. And I know we're not friends anymore, but I want to apologize to you. I don't really want to spend too, too much time harping on this point because it's kind of moot compared to all of the others she talks about in this video. But I let this clip play because if you want to see what a genuine, honest Laura Lee looks like, this is it. She didn't know that that picture was going to be taken out of context. I wholeheartedly believe her. I do think that she really feels bad and that her apology to Jeffrey was sincere. Thank you guys for giving me some time. And I hope you guys understand that I just need some time now. I love you guys so much. And I'm sorry. Okay, now that the reading is over and I've hopefully allowed you guys to be able to form your own opinions on the subject, I'm going to get into my opinion and my thoughts on Miss Laura Lee. So if you're not interested in hearing my commentary about Laura Lee, you can go ahead and click off now. Thank you for watching. But if you are, here we go.
woman that I am. The woman that you are, Laura, is one that makes bullshit apologies just like this one. So you sound just as ignorant as you did six years ago. The fact that Trisha Paytas made you look dumb, yeah, that's forever gonna be an L. And can I just say that I find it incredibly hilarious that the person that you and your friends have been clowning on for months now about being a quote-unquote racist has the amount of likes on his apology video that yours does dislikes? Looks like karma really is a bitch. Boo.